Hera was finally pregnant from Zeus. Cheerful, the goddess pictured how gorgeous her son would be. Her expectations were never-ending, given that he would be the son of the king and queen of the skies. However, the child is born, and Hera, looking at him for the first time, is horrified. It was a furry baby of rustic traits, in a suit-coated dark skin, and he was even uglier when he cried. The goddess, disheartened, claims that he is not her son and throws him from the top of the Olympus into the ocean. The little god violently hits the ocean waters, but manages to survive. However, he ends up crippled and would limp for the rest of his life. Hephaestus was rescued by the ocean Athetis, who quickly became fond of the child, unlike what had happened with goddess Hera. Thetis then took him to the island of Lemnos, where he grows playing with volcanoes. As a child, Hephaestus starts to develop an unmatchable ability in the art of metallurgy. Relying on the heat of the volcanoes, he was able to create the most powerful weapons and the most beautiful jewels. The god reaches adulthood and decides to return to Olympus. He had conceived a gorgeous golden throne for his true mother, the goddess Hera. She feels a shiver down her spine as soon as she witnesses the return of her horrendous son, but noticing the throne he had brought with him, she quickly forgets her discomfort. She feels extremely satisfied with the gift and is eager to try it. The throne was really divine. It was as gorgeous as it was comfortable. However, when trying to get up, she finds herself stuck in the throne and nothing or no one seemed able to detach her from it, nobody but Hephaestus who knew the secret on how to free her. However, to free her, he demands that her mother and the court of Olympus stop treating him with despise and accept his return to Mount Olympus. Ashamed, the goddess accepts the demand and so she is freed. She then starts to treat him with the respect he deserves. Lastly, Hephaestus makes one last request, which shocks everyone around. He asks for permission to marry Aphrodite, the most beautiful goddess of all. Hephaestus knew that he was ugly, but he also was aware that any woman would hardly refuse to marry a man who would give her all the luxury and safety. Much to the surprise of everyone, Aphrodite accepts the proposal of Hephaestus and, with the blessing of goddess Hera, they marry.